Hi everybody, my name is Joel. I'm the director of NAMTRANS and I also work in the Economic Development Department at the North Country Chamber of Commerce. As part of our ongoing video series of how a train and train parts are built right here in the North Country, today we're on the job at Vaporstone Rail Systems, a Wobtech company. Why do I say we? Well today I have a very special guest with me, a longtime supporter of the Chamber, NAMTRANS, and our North Country manufacturers, Assemblyman Billy Jones. Hey Joel, it's great to be here. Could you believe that if you have ever heard this noise while getting on perhaps a subway in New York City. Please stand clear of the closing doors. That those doors and the operating systems that run those doors could have been built right here at Vaporstone behind us. I believe it, Billy. And that's true because Vaporstone Rail Systems designs, manufactures, and distributes train and metro doors and door systems, the systems that allow them to open and close and power in this building right behind us. The proper operation of these doors guarantees the safety of not only the trains, but their passengers as well. And it's estimated that over 300,000 doors built by Vaporstone are in use on trains today. Billy and I are on the job at Vaporstone. We're gonna be building a door for an Amtrak train. And perhaps that door we build today could go to a company right here in the local area, Alstom, formerly known as Bombardier, and or Amtrak that will be used in one of the trains that they build right here in this region. They have a lot of work for us today. So Billy, are you ready to head inside? Let's go. All right, so hello everybody. Uh, Billy and myself, we're now in Vaporstone Rail Systems. We're inside the building and we're with Terry Franks. Terry is the lead on the door production unit. Terry, thanks for having us today. Yeah, absolutely. So Terry, um, can you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing here today? I understand we're gonna be building a door for an Amtrak train. Yep. How, what does that process look like? Well, usually, you know, we start over here with our frame building area. Okay. This is where we start off everything fresh. Um, put frames together and then from there we'll go into our bonding room okay and after the bonding room we'll continue on the process okay so raw frames here yes and then into the clean room behind us yes. all right well let's get started put us to work all right so terry we have an amtrak door here this is how it is when it comes into you now could you explain the process going forward yeah um we would prep these doors to put first what starts out is we put windows in these doors. Okay. We bond them to the door. Uh, we would technically, we would flip these over, get them all prepped, clean them up, put them onto our automatic vacuum carts. Okay. And we would start our bonding process. So w when you say windows, Terry, how many windows go into these? Just one. Just one? Just one. Right here or right here? Or? Both. If we were to flip this door, yep. you would see it's, just, it's two sections, but it's one piece of glass. Okay, gotcha. So you put the windows in, you clean them up, and then we're gonna take them over to the to this stage behind us in just a second. All right, sounds like a plan. So Terry, we're assembling the door, obviously, and I noticed this. This has to do with the operating systems in the doors, these wires. Correct. Um, we have wires that uh, inflate the gaskets. We have wires that actually go to the handle to operate this door. Um, other than that, this is a sensitive edge that also, like if somebody were to put their arm in and ah. catch the door, it would stop it and it would open automatically. Like a safety mechanism. Yes. All right. Yep. Very safety neat. first. Safety first always. So after that, we'll get over and we'll take a look at what a finished door looks like. Yes. So Terry, now that we finished the wiring and the windows in the door, is this a finished door unit? This Are we done? A, this is a finished door unit. Okay. Correct. Gotcha. And we have the wires inside for the operating everything. system. Everything should be set to go on this. Correct. We do all sorts of uh, electrical testing, see if everything's okay. Nothing, none of the wires get fried. How many of these do you typically build, Terry, say in a day? We can do two a day. Two, two of these doors a day. And how long does it take to do one? About four hours? About four hours. Wow. So, and Terry, how long have you been with Vaporstone? Four years. Four years? Do you like it? I love it. Yeah? Yes. What about, so for our viewers back at home who may have never considered a job in manufacturing, what, do you, what would you tell them? I, I say come here. 
Um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Come to Vaporstone. <laughs> it's a great place to work. It honestly is. Um, I would, I wouldn't pick any other place around here to be honest with you. That's Excellent. great. That's There's great. a lot of opportunities in the Plattsburgh region to work at manufacturers such as Vaporstone, and it's a, a, a wonderful place to uh, work and a wonderful region to work in. 100%. Well said. All right. Well, Terry, I know you have a little bit more for us to do, so how about you go put us to work on another contract that you have going on? Sure can. Absolutely. Right. Let's go. We did such a great job assembling that door in there for Amtrak. They put us out here on a door that I believe is going to CTA, Chicago Transit Authority. That's correct. Yeah. And we're going to put the door guide. Terry, is that what we're doing here? That's we're putting this in. And that's Loctite, right, Billy? I think that helps the screws stay in place. That's yep. Loctite. Yes, Joel. Thank you. There we go, that one looks perfect. Look at that. Joel, I think you should try a few. I did mine in record time, by the way. <laughs> so I'm actually here. Billy uh, put in the first two screws in the door glide, and my understanding is that this door glide helps the door be able to catch the track and be able to open and close effectively. So I'm gonna put in a couple of screws here, see if I can beat Billy. I, I don't know, his are pretty good. But I'm joined by Gil and Sylvester, and I wanted to introduce them. Gil and Sylvester are two employees here at Vaporstone. They were kind enough to let us get in today and do a little bit of work on their doors. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on this screw here. Make sure it lines up all right. Yeah. We'll do a couple of hand twists. Mm -hmm. See, last time when I was at a couple of other places, I kept repeating to myself, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and it's coming handy, I gotta yeah. say. He seems to be struggling with this a little <laughs> bit, but. <laughs> All right, there we go. See, it's going, it's going. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It wasn't quite the record time as I did it, right? Yeah. All right, look at that. So then we would just put in the, what, the last three. We're gonna let you guys take those over. But after that, that's it for the door glide, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Excellent. And after you finish the door glide on this, what comes next? Well, okay water test yeah. and the water test makes sure that nothing nothing, nothing, leaking, yeah, nothing, or, nothing leaking. Yeah. because i'm imagining these trains run in all sorts of environments all yeah. sorts of weather yeah yes yeah and after the water test if it water passes test. they're good to go right yes yep. yes yes all right, all right. Yes. so joel we're here with a finished product we put together doors for amtrak cta yeah and now we finished our job for the day and i want to thank everybody here at vaporstone um, for the hospitality and the work that they do every day and helping manufacturing here in the North Country. It's been a pleasure. And we only saw a little bit, a short sneak peek of what happens behind the scenes here at Vaporstone. There are actually two manufacturing operations here in this building, like Billy mentioned, we built some, door, some doors and the windows for those doors. But in addition, right behind us, they also build the door systems, the things that power the doors. And in the unit and the building across the street, they do HVAC units for trains too. So there's more than we could ever imagine that's happening right here in our neck of the woods. It's yes, pretty amazing. Definitely. So Billy, are you ready to package these up yes, and set them out? For sure. Let's go. There we go. All right, there we go. We're all set. Thank you everybody. And we'll catch you again next time on On The Job With Joel. Billy, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. It's been a great experience. I'm rolling. All right, we did such a... <laughs> <laughs>